Hi, it's Paris Metric Review, guys. I've been back on statins now for a full week, and today I take my last three short-term memory tests to try and show some evidence of whether statins do affect short-term memory. Epic Review, guys. Now, if you've watched the previous two videos, the one where I took the original test before starting statins, and then one halfway through this week, where my results of the short-term memory test actually got better, much to my surprise, you know how this works. I'm going to do a test that will show me letters on the screen for a few seconds. I have to remember them and write them down. And the sequence of letters gets longer each time. Then I will take a test with numbers and then I'm going to use an app on my phone for another letter test that's been keeping track of this and will give me a grade, a letter grade for my short-term memory. If you're interested in seeing those other two videos in this series, I'll link to them right down below this video. And since I've taken these tests on camera in the other two videos kind of extensively, I'll cut most of that out in this video. I'll show a little bit here and then I will jump to the results. Also, all three memory tests that I'm taking, I'll link to below this video. I start out with the University of Washington test that gives me the same letters in the same pattern each time, but once it gets long enough, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to get started here. It starts out with just two letters and... U-M, that's how they start every time. Off the screen, now I'll write them down. Now they're getting long enough to get difficult. Pretty sure I got that one. Here's where I'm gonna have trouble. Okay, that last one, much too long. For the next test, I'm on brangle.com. Uh, this will be numbers that are shown on the screen for a short time. I'm gonna write them down and then I'm also supposed to enter them on the screen. Up to telephone number link now. Doing amazingly well again. Better than last time. Hmm, it's gotten too long. Next is an app called Short Term Memory Test. This will go back to using letters. I'm doing amazingly well so far. I have a feeling I'm gonna do really well on this one too. Well, this sums up the results of this test and the other test. My memory has improved from a B to an A minus. Well, I'm comparing the results from the first day that I took the test, and then last Friday, and then again today on Monday. I've improved each time, pretty much on each test, or at least I haven't gone down the University of Washington one with a, since it repeats every time, I pretty much got as far as I can get, and I can't get that 12 letter one, that's just not happening. So, that one I think I stayed the same between the second and third testing, but the others, I have improved. Now I thought there would be some improvement in my score simply to taking the test, familiarity with it, and learning a couple strategies like grouping the letters, looking for familiar words so you can just remember that word, not have to remember those letters. So I used that and I probably wasn't doing that on the first day, but I figured my score would go up some because of that, but I thought the statins, which were going to show that they were having a very large effect on my short-term memory, would bring it down so much that that little increase wouldn't matter. It didn't happen. So what I set out to prove, based on my experience last year going on statins and really feeling like I was suffering memory issues, a lot of haze and confusion and so much forgetfulness, I thought I would readily be able to show, just being back on statins a week, that um, with these tests that my short-term memory was so much worse, I was not able to show that. If anything, it looks like statins may improve short-term memory in some people. I don't really think that. I think it was just uh, taking the test over and over, I just managed to improve that way. But I can't prove that. All I can say is, as I went on statins, my scores went up, so I was not with this able to prove what was going on last year. I still am convinced something was going on cognitive with me last year. And in addition to the memory issues, there was some personality change that I had as well. And other people have reported that. I didn't see it, but again, within a week after going on statins, my family reported it to me that I was much more irritable and short with them and they, I was acting a little bit like a different person. But it's hard to test personality changes, hard to come up with numbers that easily show that that has happened. I thought though with the short-term memory test, I'd be able to get good data to show the memory effect was real. I still strongly believe that um, last year taking the statins did something to my memory, even if it wasn't at the level of the short-term memory, there was something going on that caused this uh, forgetfulness that got really, really bad and actually had me concerned when I would go out driving that I would forget where I was going. So. Um, 
I'm still convinced, I still believe, but those are not the words of science. Words of science are numbers and I proved it and I did not prove it in this video. However, I'm gonna leave this video up. So these are the results that I came up with. Um, I'm not real keen on the idea of going back on statins again and actually my prescription has expired. I can't go get any more without a doctor's permission and I don't have enough to run another test. So I guess that'll be it for now. I will show you the successes as well as the failures, whether it's testing out a medication, whether it's testing out an as seen on TV product, whatever I find out, you will get to see it here. Keep checking back for our future videos or click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to